It's 106.7 K Rock, KRQ, I am Stryker. Welcome, Bastille, everybody! Hello. Oh, so, so, Dan, Dan, have you guys played uh, Acoustic Christmas before? Yeah, we played uh, two years ago. And how was that experience? Uh, very surreal. At the time, I mean, and still, it's a massive room. And it was the first time we'd ever done a rotating stage where you get to feel like you're on a game show. Right. Yes. And did you win a new car that night? No. <laughs> and what do you remember about that night, uh, Will? Not winning a new car and being thoroughly disappointed. It was the only. Re I, I was assured I'd be getting a car by the end of the but night. But you got no car. No, there were, it was a great gig though. I remember, you know, as like Dan says, it was quite early on. So we're still amazed that we get to play with them this big. But back then it was even more like overwhelming. So we sort of. What I remember about um, first meeting you guys was the excitement on my end and your end. Like you guys were in LA and I know you had been to LA before, but it was just kind of like new and fresh and people were starting to know who you were. And since then it's been about 7 million albums sold. Everyone knows who the hell you are. So of course it feels good, but what the, does it give you a stomach ache now? What, coming to LA? <laughs> no, just all the crazy I the, success I get the fear. and the expectation. Like, oh, yeah, we're have a yeah. Beat there. Um, no, it's it's. Uh, I think we're we're kind of um, we're not very good at acknowledging that we've had any success. We just take the piss out of each other. Sorry, take the <laughs> Michael out of each other, and uh, and um, yeah, are in massive denial. So you know, stuff like this is is really fun to be at because it's a kind of a little window into into the mad job that we have. Right. I'm, I literally my sentence just made no sense. It did not, but that is very much okay because I, I, I filled some either. space. I filled, I filled some space. And Woody, I know you guys have been doing quite a few shows while working on a new album. The excitement of just doing shows again and being back out in front of people and touring around. The experience right now is what for you? Um, it's kind of reassuring that people still care. <laughs> So um, the reaction we had 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 so far has been been been, been pretty good. Um, so obviously very very grateful that we haven't been totally forgotten. But um, yeah, we're just incredibly excited to get some new new, new songs out there and new material, and um, hopefully everyone still likes us once it's out. <laughs> I think so. And Kyle, have you screwed up yet playing the new song "Hanging," which is somewhat new? It's not brand new, but have there been screw ups? Is it hard playing new songs because you're playing other songs that are new besides "Hanging," correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I mean, of course, I've I've screwed up. <laughs> like, yeah, that, uh, of course. I mean, I'll, do it, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it again tonight. It wouldn't be a Bastille show if we didn't all screw up at least twenty times. Exactly. Per yeah. Show. Um, yeah. No, but it's cool. But like, like what he said, it's fun playing new stuff. Um, I don't even know what we uh, like. I literally don't even know what, what we decided on playing tonight. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, um, we're definitely getting an, uh, a new song in there. Um, and yeah, I guess just sort of just watch out for when I. When I, when I turn to anyone else on stage and go, oh, that was me, guys, sorry about that bum note. Or we just start the new song and you instantly collapse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is doing the live shows that you're doing now at all taking away from making new music? Because you have to put a lot of energy into this. And don't you afterwards just want to nap or eat or do something like that instead of go make music? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's been really good. We've been road testing these, these new tunes a bit on the road and uh, that's been great. You know, getting to see reactions and actually, you know, getting to maybe even adapt how we, how they end up on the album, you know. And uh, I've just been really boring, like trying to write, not going out as much, you know. This whole second album thing, it's an important, it's an important matter for us. For us Dan's guys. been very grown up about it. Yeah, very, it's very, very proud like of him. State That's of mind. Good. Oh, thanks, guys. That's good. Um, do you have a date or a month in 2016 for a new album? Yeah, we do. And what? Do you want to reveal it? Have you revealed it? I don't know if no, you revealed haven't, it. No, we haven't. We haven't. Do you want? You don't We're have being to. Very tight-lipped about it. If I get closer to you, would you reveal it? Maybe. Uh, is it, is it, is it 2016. <laughs> What's that? I said it. You oh, missed it. He just Sorry, guys. <laughs> Did you say February 22nd, 2016? Or no? Yeah. <laughs> if you want so to say that. I was on, uh, online today, which internet has taken off. Has, I've heard that. I've yeah. heard this new it's invention. Big, is, it's a big is, deal. It's a big deal. Uh, people would like to know, um, Kyle, are you excited for Star Wars? Will you see it? Uh, yes and yes. Okay. All right. And I have the same uh, question for you, uh, Will. I've never seen Star Wars, any of them. That's okay. But... I'm a bit of a fan of Lupita Nyong'o, so I'm going to go home and watch all of the Star Wars up until this point, 
just so I can go and watch it without being like, what the hell is going on? I've never watched I got gotcha. you. You know, the the basics is Sorry. good versus evil. Is that a remake of Point Break? Yes. Yeah. Did, yeah. That, did that film need remaking? <laughs> yes, it did. And they're the sponsor tonight. Oh, awesome. So there's an awesome <laughs> remake. <laughs> get me two. I love that film. I'll go see it on Christmas Day when it comes out. Okay, good. Absolutely. I'm so they got Ray Winston, too. Is, it, is that Ray Winston also? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was it. I love Ray Winston. Geezer. He's wonderful. As are all that cast. What an amazing cast. <laughs> there so is. wait, hold on. The original Point Break, how many times have you seen that, Dan? Probably at least four times. Okay. <laughs> is that <laughs> it's a nice even number? <laughs> and do you love Gary Busey? Do you love Keanu Reeves? Do you love how he, I am an FBI agent? Do you love I Patrick think, Swayze? I think what Keanu Reeves is, is the most underrated actor of our of our time, of the century, of uh, both the old century and the new one. He I think he's centuries. He's incredible. He is. I love him. Dude, The Matrix. It's a good film. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, are Point you going to do? Um, are you going to do anything to get yourself into the new Twin Peaks? Uh, I mean, I might start, uh, you know, just just breaking down David Lynch's front door until he, he until he's so intimidated I mean, that he can't. He says start it. doing that. He's yeah. basically yeah, counts out there every time we're well into it. I've heard that's how uh, Lynch picked the cast for the last. last <laughs> yeah. One, so. yeah. Yeah, just, just anyone the, the who can creepiest get, stalkers. Just anyone, 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 who, anyone who can get through the Lynch force field uh, is allowed into the into the program. You can, can break you, that can force field. Can you guys field. see this point break thing? I think it's it amazing. Really good. Yeah, I'm. Sold. They got wingsuits. <laughs> I'm sold with the wingsuit. <laughs> Remove the TVs next sorry, time. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Woody, back in the room. Back Woody, the room. your favorite TV show between the ages of 10 years old and 20 years old. Uh, your favorite TV show. I'm just gonna say. I'm did, did Peep Show start when I was 20 years old? I'm going to yeah, say yes. Say Peep really. Show, if you're not aware of it. Um, it's not as dodgy as it sounds. It's a UK uh, comedy show that's amazing. It's just these two guys that share a flat together, and they're both massive losers, and the whole show's from their Quite point of view, their perspective. Okay. Yes. Or Alan Partridge. Alan Partridge is oh, the funniest thing ever Alan made. Partridge is Got it. Fact. I love that we just two references that no one here <laughs> 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 met with blank stares. The people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, at this point, since I've screwed up everything, I just uh, want to verbally say, because there's no other way to say it except texting, and that would be weird to text you right now. I am so excited to hear a bunch of new music from you guys. Oh. Not just the ones you play live, one or two songs, but just in general in 2016. Yeah, we're so excited about that. We've been working on this record, you know, while, while touring. We had a session for a few days in South America, and we recorded in America and the UK, and we've gone back home to the place where we made the first album. And uh, yeah, we're just really excited about releasing it and hope people like it and get on board with it. And Will, where in America did you record? Um, we did some in New York, we've done some in LA, sort of little bits and bobs. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Buenos Aires in the deep oh, south yeah, of America. South America. It's kind of a global project, this. Something. You guys are living the life. You made it sound, yeah, we made you it sound so much cooler than it is. You guys don't even work, you go to the beach. Con considering that the first record was made <laughs> in our friend's windowless basement, Right, I think, I think it's. I think we we just about just about clawed our way into justifying. There you go. Leaving the room, like the the concept of recording a song and actually receiving daylight at the same time was a very new one to us. So we're still basking. <laughs> you in need that. to earn your daylight. You do need to earn your daylight. It's a luxury, particularly in England. It's seen as a, not not a right. It's a luxury. Well, everything you get uh, that's luxury related is deserved. I'm a big fan. I'm so happy for the success. And I remember, again, meeting you guys early on, and it was just so exciting. The room we were in when we were talking, it was yeah. just, it was energetic. And since then, it's gone psh, well, The crazy. thing is, you know, we've, just, we've, we've been in the U.S. for like a few weeks now, um, and we're going home next week. And it, still, it's so exciting for us coming here. Like, it, you know, we get off the plane, and we're like, oh, my God, we're in America. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That's um, cool. And yeah, and so yeah, it's a pleasure. We hope to keep coming back. And Excellent. yeah, I'm looking forward to, to playing loads of new music next year. Very nice. All right, on that note, I will wrap it up. Guys, it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for playing the Almost Acoustic Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, they are Bastille, and I am Stryker backstage here at the Forum with K-Rock. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Mike.